Hey guys, so it's finally time to take a very quick look at finally Android 4.0.3 official released by Samsung today in the first Euro European countries. Uh, a firmware over the air update or a keys update. You just go in there and you know you just search for it over the air. Probably the easiest one if you're still running on a stock uh, Android version. But basically, it's it's Android 4.0.3. Uh, it is uh, on the build number. It's being called the XXLPQ, <clears throat> and I'm gonna tell you how I, how I updated uh, updated to this because I was running on a Android 4.0.3 uh, firmware called uh, XXLPH. That was an earlier uh, 4.0.3 official by Samsung leak, but this time it's from it's Samsung. You know they they have released it over the air. It's gonna come to come to you know other variants uh, pretty soon, like the Galaxy Note, the LTE variants, you know US variants. But you know it, it can take some time. But let's just go ahead and take a very quick look here um, at this new update because uh, I know that you people have been waiting for this update for a long ass time. So it's it's finally time to take a very quick look at it over here. Of course, it, as I said there, it's Android 4.0.3 but it still feels a little bit like Android 2.3 just because it is still running TouchWiz 4.0 I think so uh, let's just go ahead and go down to display um, I can definitely feel that you know I've been trying out a few leaks before and I can definitely say that this one feels uh, a lot uh, snappier so that, that's kind of good uh, if you go ahead and go down this is how it's gonna look like you still have a like, green uh, gingerbread theme and look if you look at the capacity touch buttons you have add you know you haven't really changed anything there wallpaper same here same old uh, a bit disappointing actually because they already did start to work on Android 4.0.3 in November. Hit search. You have this a uh, little bit, uh, you know, feels like Android 4.0.3 at least. That's, that's kind of nice. Same over there. Signing in. And also you can see that they have changed up the browser. That's a little better, a little better multitasking. No, it's the same old boring multitasking. Uh, when or I mean, when when you're in tabs, I mean, if you go into Android 4.0.3 on another device, like the Galaxy Nexus that's being run on stock, you don't get this. This is horrible. Touchways really do suck. So I'm probably gonna go down to Synology mod uh, and you know a clean Android 4.0.3 experience go ahead and click here you know boring very very boring if you go down if you go back if we go ahead and uh, should have some cool multitasking here at least oh wait a sec was that a bug or was it just me that was if you hold it down go to task manager Okay, I mean, definitely feels a lot snappier than earlier versions that's been leaking out. Uh, but it still feels like Android uh, 2.3, uh, same UI and interface over here. If we go ahead and go, let's see, if you go ahead and check out the camera. Yep, same uh, camera and everything. So if you want to go ahead and run, uh, you should remove touch with UI. Really do suck on under 4.0.3. If you go ahead and down here, I've already been showing you this. I mean, there's not really not that much to show you people because uh, also wait a sec. Yeah, they've also removed that 3D effect that they had uh, here on the on the desktop. I'm not really sure why. Should still be able to pinch to zoom. I, I think that Samsung has done a very very poor job with this they need to do something because uh, sure it's a lot faster and it's probably a lot you know better battery but uh, I want more of a of a Android 4.0.3 stock experience 
I know that someone's gonna do their own thing here, but uh, please don't ruin what I have going on over here. And also, as you, if you didn't know already, uh, Google Market has been changing name to like Google Play and Google Music, so now it's being called a Play Shop or I mean Google Play. If you go ahead and download something over here, I always download any birds. But I mean, uh, of course, it, it's way, way better than Android 2.3. Feels, you know, up, update and everything. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I want that cool update. I'm a little bit disappointed. Also, you can see up here that they have a duo right now. I think that they've changed that as well. Let's see? Is it nice looking? But uh, yes, it feels a lot snappier than Android 2.3. So I really, uh, I think I'm gonna run uh, Android 4.0 with TouchWiz UI on my Galaxy Note because I mean that's my main phone. I don't really want to play around with uh, firmwares and uh, too many things like that with that phone because, as I said, there it, it's my main phone. Main phones is something that you want to be careful about. You you don't want to mess them up because it's it's my baby. So it's going to be fun to update to this. Also, I've been having some major issues with my Galaxy Note with Android 2.3. Many times it's taking up like now 600 megs or 700 megs, and I only get around 6 to 7 hours of battery. It really feels like after a month of use with Android 2.3 on the Galaxy Note, it becomes a lot, lot slower. <laughs> wonderful and we're getting this uh, new Angry Birds soon Angry Birds Space coming exclusive for the Galaxy Note first so of course I'm probably gonna take a look at that but of course it's a, it's an awesome update to 2.3 definitely and I think many people at the end will be satisfied with it and that most people won't think that much about it. Because it's only we hardcore geeks, I think, that really do care that much. But, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and go back. No lag whatsoever. And also, the way I did install it, I was running on a custom, as I said, a custom firmware, Android 4.0.3, uh, that you can go, uh, the XXLPH version for the Galaxy S2. Uh, I was uh, using that one, uh, I did flash it using like Odin, and then to get root access on uh, my phone, I downloaded a CF root with Clockwork Mod 5.2. Um, and it, it was for the XXLPH build. Uh, if you haven't researched, it's a CF root. It's basically a very, very simple way to root your Android smartphone. You should go ahead and research it, and it's available for many, many firmwares out there. And so you just go ahead and restart the device, go into download mode, go into Odin, select the PDA, select that uh, CF root for that firmware and then you should have both Clockwork mod and root installed uh, when once it's done uh, with the flash process and then what I did was uh, I, uh, I, I downloaded Mobile Odin which is an app uh, that you can go ahead and pick up. It costs a little bit, but it's it's mobile Odin, so you can flash uh, zip files and everything from your smartphone. It's it's pretty clever. It's uh, it's pretty nice, uh, but of course you can just use uh, super user access. Okay, okay. Of course, I'm not using super. I'm not super user right now, mm -hmm. so I can't really use it. But you need root to use Mobile Odin. So I did install Mobile Odin after I have used CF root, and then what I did was uh, that I downloaded the new Android 4.0.3 official by Samsung, the Nordic. Uh, for the Nordic countries because uh, I live there, you know, in Sweden. But they also have for other European countries and probably will follow with a lot of, you know, ton of other countries as well. So I downloaded that, the XXLPQ. 
I did go ahead and uh, put it on my in internal SD card and then I used to open up mobile Odin and pick that MD5 file uh, that I downloaded uh, under Fubo point through XXLPQ and of course when you download it from Sam Mobile it's a zip file so you need to extract it so you get that MD5 file that you put on your internal SD card or your external SD card then you just go ahead and open mobile Odin go down to uh, pick file and then you just go ahead and pick that MD5 file and then you just scroll down at the bottom flash and it should restart and everything and do its thing and then you should basically have it but that's just one way I did it if, if you're still if you're just running on, on stock Android firm, uh, uh, stock Android 2.3 firmware if you haven't been rooting if you haven't been flashing then you probably in living Europe right now you probably just can go over to the firmware over the air update uh, if you go ahead and just go over here scroll down go to about phone hit software update and you will be able to find the uh, check for updates over there it's awesome and uh, also you can go ahead and download it using keys instead if you don't like uh, firmware over the air if you have a bad connection or something like that I have no idea but uh, definitely an awesome update from 2.3 but uh, I'm, I'm still a little bit disappointed uh, it feels slightly outdated okay awesome